In this video, I will show you how we can quickly create a logo using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Thruval here and as you can see, this is the final output. Now to create this effect, first of all, we have to create a new document. So go to file and create a new document. My size is 1920 by 1080 standard HD and resolution is 150. After that, hit OK. Now let's zoom out a little bit and let's create the background. So for that, double click and unlock the background. Right click and select blending option. Here, select gradient overlay. I'm gonna go and make it radial, reverse and make it all the way 150. Uh, and in the color, like always, instead of this black color, I'm gonna go and change it to something grayish. Uh, so that looks really nice. Uh, hit OK, OK and change the angle so you have more fading uh, i think this looks really nice uh, after that uh, in the gradient uh, go and put it a little bit here uh, i will tell you why uh, so this looks good uh, go and hit ok now we have to add the image so for that go to file go to place uh, and select the image that you downloaded and place it now go and confirm it after that, right click on your image and select rasterize layer. Then go to image, adjustment and select threshold. In the threshold, uh, go and make it uh, change it uh, until you get the really nice details. Uh, so I think this looks really good. Then go and hit OK. Now we have to remove the white background. So for that, right click on your eraser tool and select magic eraser tool. And here, just go and click on white color. So that is gone. After that, again, right click on your uh, eraser tool and select regular eraser. And in the hardness, make sure it's 100%. Then go and remove the unnecessary area that you don't want. So I think this looks really nice. Then again, press Ctrl T, hold your shift key and make it smaller and put it here. Then go and confirm it. To make sure it is in center, press Ctrl A, then select your move tool and click on the second last option. So it is completely in middle, then again go to select and deselect. Now we have to add in the text. So for that, select your text tool and type in whatever you want to type. So I'm just going to type logo, then click on your layer to confirm it. Now to make it bigger, press Ctrl T, hold your shift key and make it bigger by the corner. Uh, so I'm going to go and put it here like this uh, then go and confirm it let's make it a little smaller so for that again Control T and make it a little bit smaller then go and confirm it now we have to add that line so for that right click on your shape layer and select rectangle one and then draw a rectangle here just like this now to make it smaller press Control T and then make it small and adjust it So I think this looks good, then go and confirm it. After that, go and put this rectangle under your logo. Then right click and select rasterize layer. Then select your eraser tool from here and then remove it from between the text. So as you can see, now it looks really good. After that, select your portrait layer, this one. Hold your shift key and click on your logo layer here. After that, press Ctrl G. So everything is in a single group. And now it's time to add in the galaxy image. So for that, go to file, place and find the galaxy image that you downloaded and place it. Confirm it. Now go and change its blending mode to screen. Then right click and select create clipping mask. So as you can see, now it's only visible here. Now select your move tool from here and adjust it. So there are only little bit stars on her hair. Bottom part looks really nice. After that, make a copy of it, press Ctrl J. Again, right click and select create clipping mask and this time uh, put it on the top part. That's looking really nice. After that, go and create another adjustment layer and select levels. And here, right click and again create clipping mask. Then go and adjust your slider here so you have really nice contrast. So I'm increasing highlights and decreasing midtone. Uh, so that's looking really good. 
then go and close it after that go and create a new blank layer uh, select your paint bucket tool right click paint bucket and fill in the black color then go to filter render and select lens flare here uh, go and put your lens flare in the middle I'm using 50 by 300 uh, so that's looking good hit ok then go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and in the Gaussian blur 25 to 30 should be good then hit ok after that go to image adjustment and select hue and saturation here go and increase your saturation a lot like 70 80 percent so this looks really good hit ok after that right click and select create clipping mask so it is only on the model then select your move tool and move it so it matches the lighting of the photo so that's really good then go and change its blending mode to screen after that reduce the opacity to somewhere around like 20 to 30 uh, percent so you have really nice fading so 40 percent also looks good and then you can adjust the lighting a little bit and for stronger effect you can take this layer and put it under your galaxy so you have more contrast and then you can adjust the lighting a little bit so that's it and this is the final output so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions uh, feel free to ask me in comment section below till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop